welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday and I am here at church in my preschool classroom because it needs to be finished because I am um, starting my class on Wednesday and because it's on Wednesday, the classes are at night, so I'm at work all day and then I literally have to like just rush over here. So I'm gonna have to finish everything today, which isn't too bad because I already did a lot. Um, I just need to like take things out that aren't supposed to be here and then organize everything that is supposed to be here. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a little haul very quickly on what I bought from Walmart. Also the air is on. So I'm sorry if you can't hear me, but hopefully you can hear me because if not, I'm gonna be talking for no reason and I'm not gonna be able to upload this. But anyways, very quickly, I bought some jumbo crayons. I just wanna give them like jumbo things. Just in case they haven't like mastered their fine motor skills, they're able to use these. Also some markers because I'm gonna use the markers for um, right here. I'm gonna have them back here for them to color. I'm not really gonna have paint all the time, but there will be paint sometimes. So when there isn't paint, they'll have the option to play um, or to paint with markers. I also bought some jumbo um, pencils and then I also have these color pencils okay so I have a hole puncher and the reason why I have a hole puncher is because I asked my friend to um, make little behavior like cards but they're kind of they look like loyalty cards and basically um, what if a child comes every day for the whole month they'll get a hole punch and um, at the end of the month if they have their whole card hole punched um, then they'll be able to get something from the treasure box so it kind of just like encourages attendance and for them to participate and you know all that good stuff so that's why i got a hole puncher because i'm gonna need it after every class and then i bought these little white bins from walmart um just to put like the crayons the scissors and then and the activity pages that we're going to be using for that day just so it's like more organized and we can just get through it and then i also bought these class birthdays um, little thing and it comes with like little things in the bottom like little stars and um, little stickers that I'm gonna put on the wall because my classroom isn't gonna have too much color I do want to implement a little bit of something my classroom is gonna be very like um, minimalistic in a sense so whatever color there is um, it's gonna be from the toys and from whatever is on the walls but like furniture wise I want to keep it very sleek and simple um, so that's why you see white and I'll show you a little bit more of what the classroom looks like because I feel like the last time I showed you guys it was a total mess and like it looks way better now. Anyways, I bought these as well. Um, this is where I'm going to keep their folders when they walk in. They'll know just to put them in here. Um, and that's how I'll pass out their papers from their activity page for that day and they can take them home. And um, their parents are supposed to be looking through those so every time that they come back there's like no pages in there like they've been taken out. And then I bought this little cute thing. It's an all about me page and it's like a cute little activity that the kids can do with their parents. Um, and I feel like it's really important to just have like a little something of the kids in the classroom so that they feel comfortable and like oh, okay this is my classroom. Like my picture's up there, the things I like is up on that paper. Like, you know, I mean so I'm gonna have these hung up somewhere at their eye level so that they can like be like oh this one's mine and like kids at this age are very like self-centered whenever they see anything that has to do with them they're super excited they want to tell you all about it and um, yeah so I want to have these hung up somewhere in the classroom just so that they feel like okay this is my classroom like I feel comfortable oh and I also bought this little dustpan and brush so that um, whoever is like the trash the trash helper um, at snack time or at the end of the class, they can you know sweep up a little bit. Obviously, it's not gonna be like spot on, like, oh, you didn't get that crumb, you didn't get that crumb. It's more to teach about like responsibility and like, you know, working together, everybody has jobs. Everybody's contributing to the classroom in some way. And yeah, and then I also bought this little rack. I talked about this a little bit on my Instagram, but for those who don't follow me on Instagram, I bought this for a little self-care station, so I'm gonna have like a little brush, a little mirror, and stuff like that. Oh, and then lastly, I bought a binder, a really small one, it's a .5. Um, it's a half inch binder, and I bought some like dividers and some uh, sheet protectors because I'll be making a sub binder for whoever and whenever anybody subs from my classroom. I want them to be able to feel comfortable and like, prepared because there is nothing if there's one thing that I learned about subbing for a classroom is that there is no worse feeling than feeling that you're not prepared to lead the class because yes the kids already know what to do most of the time because obviously they're in that classroom all the time but if you're if you don't leave your sub like concrete instructions and like step-by-step -step details they have never been in your classroom 
or they probably haven't been to your classroom in a long time and there's probably things that have changed so I just wanted to make a so I wanted to make a binder for my sub um, because I don't know I think it's important to like maintain um, the purpose and like the rules and like the routine of the classroom so I'll be making a sub binder for her and for whoever else um, subs for my classroom um, just to make it easier on that person even if they've never walked into my classroom they know what exactly they have to do and like what's going on in the in the classroom so yeah I'm just gonna be cleaning up so there's gonna be a lot of montages in this video um, I literally have to finish everything today so I hope you guys enjoy this video it's very different um, but yeah let's get right into it did I seriously just put the camera back exactly in the same spot where it first fell from I literally can with myself like oh my god <laughs> I am so dumb what why did I think that it wasn't gonna fall why oh my god <gasps> Ernesto I broke my camera yeah it's done okay. Hmm. Just put on the floor. I don't even want to vlog. <laughs> this is so stupid. Y'all see that black dot right there? I dropped my camera and now it's like this black shadow. Alright, I'm testing the microphone. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Liddy if you're new here. And <laughs> <laughs> this is my... Honey boo boo. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Liddy. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. Today is going to be my birthday vlog because today is my birthday. And Ernesto, are you getting my phone? Oh. No, 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 no. Just don't put volume. Okay. Stay here. Right now, I'm about to pack Adri's present. And I'm going to show you guys what I got her because by the time this video is up, she'd already obviously opened her present and my video will be up. Um, so I can show you guys. Um, she asked for like storage containers for like her kitchen so like we kind of have the same vibe so I bought her like some containers with like a wood like that bar right here honestly they're so cute this was like the large one that they had um, and I got her two of those and then I got her like four a four set of the mini ones which is the same style as well I got her like two medium sized ones of the same style as well and then I bought her a cookbook not because she doesn't know how to cook because actually she cooks way more than me um and her food actually tastes pretty good so i bought her like a cookbook that she can like it's magnolia table if you guys don't know this brand um it's from target well first of all it's joanna so if you guys don't know who joanna is like where have y'all been so yeah i got her a cookbook from her line because um she has like really cool stuff and she actually like has a lot of recipes in here there's like brunch lunch side dishes appetizers desserts like there's a lot of things and then there's like also recipes that she does from scratch so i thought you would like this and it's really cute and aesthetic so yeah that's what i got her a cookbook and some storage containers hopefully she likes that and they're glass they're really good quality so yeah i got these from target <laughs> 
My dad still gave me his present right now. And I gave you one yesterday. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so he bought me a case for my camera because mm -hmm. if you guys didn't know, I've been um, cameraless because I dropped it. Um, I dropped my camera and basically I had to like go see how much it would cost for it to get fixed and basically it was like 300 and something and I was like, you know what, that's like literally half of my camera so I might as well just go buy another one and so then what I'm trying to do is just sell it to someone on offer up so that I can get some kind of money, you know, like not just like throwing it away obviously it needs to be fixed but it is fixable so I'm trying to sell it and I was able to get this camera which is the one that I'm using right now and Ernesto got me a case for it so that was one of my birthday presents and then he got me some Air Force One and I've literally been wanting these shoes for like the longest time ever. I don't know why, but like I just feel like they're such a staple, like they're staple shoes. Like you need to have Air Force Ones and like they just goes with everything. Like I can wear this with a dress, with skirts, with shorts, with jeans. Like this can like casual down like any outfit and like they're just white. So it's like I'm going to have these forever. And that's the type of things that I like to get. Like when it comes to clothes and stuff, like I like to get things that I know that I'm going to be able to wear with other things and like not just a one time wear. So yeah, I'm very happy with my Air Force Ones. I've been talking about these for like three months, huh? Yeah, a while. I really hope that this video is focused because this is my first like video of recording on this camera. So I'm not really sure like how the, um, the focus is right now. Yeah, I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit of my birthday because we are going to my cousin's house and we're having like a little get together with my family and some friends. If you guys didn't know, I do have a twin. So it's both of our birthdays today. Um, and we literally started giving each other gifts like last year. I don't know why, but it's just like we always lived together and like we always did everything together. And even when we did get like get our first jobs, like we never really bought each other presents. Like we would buy each other presents for Christmas, but our birthdays, it just felt like it felt weird because it's like you're giving yourself a present, if that makes sense. So last year we actually started like actually giving each other um, presents for our birthday and I think it's because we don't live with each other anymore. There's like that separation of like not living together anymore. So it feels like like it's okay to give each other presents. That feels so weird. I'm also using a mic like I'm literally so professional right now <laughs> I'm so excited because like I have a mic and I have a little tripod. Well, actually it's not little I need to buy like a portable one um, But yeah, I'm very excited to have a new camera because it just looks so good Okay, so Ernesto only like, planned like a little date day for me yesterday, which was Saturday um, and it was like my pre-birthday celebration, like just us, because since I share my birthday with my twin, we always celebrate it together. So yesterday was kind of like my celebration like with Ernesto, like you know what I mean? So um, we went to this place called Speed Zone in LA where they have like go-karts, they have like mini golfing, and they have like a huge arcade. Which by the way, the arcade was like my favorite part because I love arcades, like I love like playing games and like getting tickets and like, I don't know, I'm a little kid. Okay. It was a lot of fun because like I said, I really like arcades and like we get so competitive when it comes to stuff like that because we really want to win the jackpot in like every single game. And yesterday was literally like the day that we were meant to go because we won like four jackpots. Honestly, I think it's worth going over there because you get your money's worth. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video and if you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe and like this video because when you guys engage with me, it helps me out with YouTube and um, yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to our birthday bash.